This time we have square root of y in the denominator. We said that anytime we want to eliminate the square root from the denominator, we have to multiply numerator of the fraction and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. In this case, conjugate of the denominator is going to be x minus square root of y. x minus square root of y. Now we have to perform the multiplication. Anytime you multiply fractions, you have to multiply numerator by the numerator and denominator by the denominator. That's why you are going to have x and I have x minus square root of y over x plus square root of y times x minus square root of y. We're supposed to apply again this formula, okay? The formula for the difference of perfect squares, which says that any time we have expression multiplied to its conjugate, this is equal to the difference of these two terms. Okay, that's why I'm going to have x square minus square root of y square which is going to be equal. I'm going to distribute this x into the parentheses. Okay, and I'm going to have x square minus x square root of y over, in this case, I'm going to have x square minus, this exponent is going to eliminate my radical sign, and I'm going to have y. I cannot simplify this fraction anymore. That's why this is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at this example. We have to eliminate the square roots from the denominator. We said that we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator in order to eliminate square roots. That's why I'm going to multiply denominator by 2 square root of 3x minus 3 square root of y. The same thing I have to write in the numerator. 2 square root of 3x minus 3 square root of y. Now we are going to perform the multiplication. I have to multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by the denominator. So in the numerator I'm going to have 2 square root of x plus square root of 2y and times by 2 square root of 3x minus 3 square root of y. This is my numerator. I'm going to apply this rule in order to solve the problem with my radicals in the denominator. The rule says anytime I multiply the expression by its conjugate, I'm going to obtain the difference of the perfect squares. So I consider this term as my x and this term as a my y. The formula says first term has to be squared and subtract square of the second term. I have 2 square root of 3x to the second power minus 3 square root of y to the second power, which is equal. I'm going to copy the numerator 2 square root of x plus square root of 2y 2 square root of 3x minus 3 square root of y over 
This time we're supposed to apply the, the properties of exponents and you're supposed to remember that anytime I have exponent outside of the parentheses, this exponent is going to affect this number and radical. So I'm going to have 2 to the second power is equal 4 and square root to the second power is going to give me just radicand. In this case, this is going to be 3x minus 3 raised to the second power is equal 9 and square root raised to the second power is equal radicand. In this case, it's going to be y. Okay, let me copy this down. I have 2 square root of x plus square root of 2y 2 square root of 3x minus 3 square root of y over 4 times 3 is equal 12 x minus 9 y. As you can see, we eliminated the square roots from the denominator. If you want to solve this problem further, you're supposed to just apply FOIL method to the numerator and check if you can reduce any terms from the numerator with the denominator. But at this moment, we simply eliminate the square roots from the denominator.